Yo, Geechee, you killed that, man. What's good with you, man? All right, man. What's popping with you, man? Oh, nothing much, man. Just, you know, trying to take care of some men out here in the city. <clears throat> I was having a little narrative going on live, so I, let me call up, man. You know, telling this. They wanted to continue, but I had to stop going live because my phone was tripping. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, I kind of cut... <clears throat> little bit of it towards like you know when you was really cooking on the fact I guess about views or something with A had or just any views in general. Um I'm I'm gonna be honest. My opinion when it comes to A hat and the views and, and what all that means in the West, a lot of these dudes have been talking about A hat views. And I haven't seen A Hat get them views since the Floyd Mayweather. Uh, what was it? Justin Mayweather, his brother. I ain't seen views really high like that since that battle. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, outside of that, you got the recent one with the, I think, what was that? Smooth and Diz, yourself and K Phil, and I think Danny and Chico have been doing some good views, right? But outside of that, nothing else has really been dropping over there where it's like, these views are going crazy, so I'm kind of wondering, like, if the views still matter, if the views still hold the same type of weight within all of battle rap, then why are people still struggling, one, to get PGs, and then two, why are they struggling at the PGs? If these views are a reflection of your skill set and how good you are and how much people really appreciated your craft, then why aren't those same 100,000 people you know what I'm saying, vouching and saying you have to be on the next card. Yeah, that's a fact, though. Like, I just kind of confused man. about it because I never hear anybody really give a reason or a rationale to that. Like, if you had 100,000 people at watching you consistently back then, or let's say you was getting 70,000 consistently, so where are them 70,000 people? Did they just up and leave YouTube? Did they up and leave the battle rap culture? Like, why are they not requesting you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It, it's, I, that's just what I be thinking, like. It just don't make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, though, on there, you know, and it wasn't to be trying to say it, but it's like, man, at the end of the day, man, some motherfuckers been doing shit so long, bro. And like really been doing that shit so long, bro. And, and 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 the fans been watching you do this shit so long that they're not as in tune with every little thing you do no more. You know what I'm saying? Like once yeah. after a while when it's when when it's like now they kinda they kinda don't wanna see you just Every time, because you haven't you haven't elevated, you know what I'm saying? You haven't elevated, bro. Like it's the same old shit. It's just like in fucking sports or any other anything. Like after a while, if a motherfucker haven't gotten better, a nigga not gonna watch him, bro. That's like niggas used to watch fucking wrestling. I can equate it to wrestling because niggas get tired of me saying sports. So let's say let's say wrestling, bro. A motherfucking new wrestler hit the scene when he first hit the scene, nigga. He hot. Niggas want to know is what he can do, but after a while, if bruh ain't won no title, bruh have to start. He has to start going crazy to the point where niggas is out see it over at the big best wrestling WrestleMania. Nigga ain't gonna be paying attention to his matches. Nigga gonna keep watching the Undertakers or the niggas that blow up from the bottom like Lesnar or Goldberg. You feel what I'm saying? There's so many niggas that started at the same time. Some niggas just make it to the top. You know what I mean? It's just like I said with the basketball shit, nigga. You got niggas like Sebastian Telfair who came out of high school just like LeBron. When LeBron elevated and kept balling, so after a while, you don't even know what the fuck happened to Sebastian Telfair because you stopped paying attention to him because he wasn't balling. You know what I'm saying? You remember that he came out of high school and he was dope, but, like, shit, after you, like, well, damn, I'm hearing about niggas dropping 20 and 10 assists and 10 rebounds. You ain't hearing him doing it, so you don't even know what team he on and what the fuck going on with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what ends up happening with a lot of the battlers on the West. Like, after a while, you're not hearing these dudes on the bigger platforms. You're not seeing these dudes killing nothing. So, yeah, they might do have a battle on these small platforms, but nobody's clicking it because the nigga ain't even following them. Like, you're not being followed. So, if motherfucking 
uh, twerk battles on a small league right now. He's being followed. The coach, the people that he has a fan base that's following him. So they're watching wherever he battles because they're following him. They're not just following the platform now. Cassidy could have battled anywhere, not just URL, and motherfuckers would have clicked it. Cassidy battle on South Fire is going to do a million. You feel what I'm saying? He has people that's following yeah. what he's doing. Like, he's made a name for himself to where they're watching what he's got going on. And that's what you got to make yourself a name. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And then people think a nigga's just saying hundreds of thousands. I ain't saying that. But Grizz, Dre, Bitch, and Smooth, these guys have created enough following that when they do have battles drop, people still watch them. They still be able to climb over that thousand mark easily. You feel me? They easily make it over that thousand mark. You know what I'm saying? Think, Whether they make hundreds on every one, they probably don't because, of course, niggas still got ways to go on certain shit as well. But they not to the point where a lot of these dudes who've been doing it so long, cats ain't even breaking a thousand, bro. And been I mean, but see, I think the I think the view count is like I think the view count is what gets people stuck up on like their particular narratives. Like, let's take Twerk for instance. Twerk right now, outside of yourself, is probably the most popping battle rapper in terms of popularity. Everybody wants to see a New Jersey twerk right. performance. Everybody wants to see his battle, right? He battled Bobby Lee, right. one of our own. That battle, if I'm not mistaken, has not. it definitely has a hit of 100K. It might be somewhere around 50 or 60K. That's New Jersey twerk. So I don't think the view count necessarily, we're saying it has to be not over 100,000 100, every single time, but you got to be able to get some type of, uh, of you got to be getting something. Some like, of people is like checking into it. 50K is a lot. You go anywhere else on that motherfucking shit that the niggas battle on, you know what I'm saying? And you won't see no other motherfucking battles that got probably 50K, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's between two big battles. So the regular motherfuckers ain't, the regular motherfuckers ain't already bringing some type of get to it, then it's, then it's hard to say that what it's going to get. You know what I'm saying? But, but like, you know, I think the got, one thing that's that, that crippling means, people out here is they're comparing struggling. it to out here. They don't compare it to all of battle rap. They compare it to out here. So a lot of times they'll hey, say, Cody. well, you got to get this amount of views because out here nobody else is doing that. So if you're doing that, that's good. But I think people need to just start comparing it to what the top level is. Don't compare it to something else. Compare it to the top level. If at the top level a PG that people are going to be talking about and excited about is doing 150K views and up as a PG. You know what I'm saying? Then on these local platforms, these local leagues, you need to be creating that kind of impact. Because I see Swamp yeah, and uh, Your Honor, that shit's at like 150. I think Ace I Mean and Fuse, that shit's at like 100K. So we saying 100K to 150K and up is for a PG to be considered popping then if you're at your local level, you should be able to create something similar to be able to generate that type of uh, uh, narrative and conversation about your name. If a and one-off go. drops on URL, that shit should be doing 250K and up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they need, we need to start really comparing shit to what the top level is. If you're getting dropped here, this is what you are up against. And if you ain't here then you need to put in more work and you can't be on your high horse just because, well, on the local level, yeah, I can try and act big and bad, but you can't do that in the real world of battle rap. You can and, only and do that to the people and, here. And let's, and, and, and let's get people cued in on this combo because I do want to hear a lot of people's perspectives of what they think is it too. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know what it is, but I I would like to hear why different people was going against what he was saying because I, and then now here, I think that's that Dev on the phone. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 yeah, I figured yeah. I caught, Can y'all hear me? I, I figured out. Yeah, I figured that what I was saying was was in was in coincide. I didn't I didn't know what you meant, but I thought that you wasn't taking the shot at a hat. You were saying the battlers. That's how I looked at it. Like certain battlers. No facts, are bro. Facts. So hiding behind the views and not not and not just saying that they don't want to battle. They they all. I mean, I, I'm making this. I'm making that. Like and as if they over and I'm and that's what I kind of I see that a lot though. As just sitting back, I do see that a lot of people do that but and I, and I think in, in this situation on the west it's like he kind of made a lot of sense bro you can't really do that if you're not really known like that you know what i'm saying like you gotta kind of yeah. like you gotta kind of like be kind of for real sometime and be like nigga I, like you're not you're not you're not on nobody knows who the fuck you is we know you, no, we talk bro, to you every fucking day. what i'm saying what i'm saying is really just a humble nigga and of course i'm going against the grain so i'm gonna take the backlash but at the end of the day it, it, I got to call the spade a spade, nigga. You was popping here during this time, 
and I believe it's due to the to the to the platform A hat. I'm I'm actually giving props to A hat. All I'm saying yeah, is I'm not gonna battle that. MC Bob who used to get those views, but now he getting five to eight hundred views when I could do that myself. So it's like exactly. and then you see a lot of these vets, these vets be wanting battles. They be like, oh, nigga, I'm trying to get a battle, woo, woo, woo. But you see a lot of young niggas, we battling each other or we're choosing to do other shit because it's like, nigga, we could do what you could do for us already. You heard me? I heard Boone, yeah. Boone tried to tell me, Boone tried to tell me we're not paying for the views. Like, it was crazy what the fuck this nigga said. And I hope he on, and maybe he can try to switch it up. But this nigga told me we're not paying for the views. We're paying to be able to say that we battled that person. No, nigga. The view, the view is like, how are we? That's, uh, but I can't even. Yeah. That shit just blows my fucking mind, yeah, bro. That one don't make sense. That it don't, right, it don't make no second. fucking sense. What, 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 one second, yo. So I got a couple people to queue in first because he messaged me back already to go ahead and tell me his area code. I'm gonna get Billy on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute Thanks. the line, Billy. I'm gonna give you about three minutes. You know what I'm saying? It should be more than enough time to unpack the narrative. We got a lot of people that want to discuss. So everybody gonna get their three minutes to go ahead and talk. Mute. We're gonna get the next person to go ahead and talk that shit. Sound good? Yeah, easy right. money. So let me go ahead and get this line muted real quick. Uh oh, Billy, oh, you're queued up. Nico go ahead and unpack your narrative. I don't got a narrative. Uh what what Dan was talking about, you know, uh is I didn't say you paying to battle to say you battled this person. I mean, essentially, yes. But you have to understand that 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 every – in the situation that – it's weird because for me, I'm in my own boat, right? You can say, oh, Billy did 800 views. And I know you're not – your post ain't about me, but my shit is very unique because when I speak, I'm speaking from people like me. So when he, I don't know who Joe, Joe Blow the battler is or or who he's talking about. He's not naming any specific names like I'm not going to pay that nigga. For me, if you're putting me in the Joe Blow category of you used to give views, but you do 800 views here or there, like my nigga, it's like this. When you, you got however many battles you got right now, don't nobody want to see that shit, like unless you battle somebody that people care about. So in, a, in some instances, you're going to pay a nigga and you're going to get a gang of views. If that's But there's other things that come with the views. You feel me? The fact that views, ain't, is it not, views isn't what's going to get you booked. It's the way you rap. The places that you need to send these battles to so you can become the star that you want to be, they got millions of views already. They're not looking for you to bring views to their platform. They're looking for you to bring the talent to the platform. And based on the talent that you project during that battle, will determine if they book you. They're not going to look at the battle and say, oh, this only got 100 views, so, or, 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 so we, we don't like you. Like, it could be 100 views, but if the quality of the content is great, it will get you somewhere. But you call, you call up words like, hey, bro, I just battled, I just battled uh, XP. You feel me? Uh, uh, the rap games, uh, you know, whatever. The best kept secret. That nigga not gonna know who no XP is. Maybe I'm XP. No, I'm talking shit. But that's just being real. Now you call Norbs and say I battled Billy Boondocks. This nigga didn't see me battle in New York. Just because my footage didn't drop, like, don't mean that I don't have a rep for what I do. I don't want tournaments on the east and the west. My name holds weight. So with a nigga like me, if you're paying me. Along with the views you may get, you get to go say, hey, nigga, I beat Billy Boondocks. They know who I am. You could go beat 10 niggas that nobody know, and they're not going to care. They want to see you go against somebody that can fight back. So you go against a nigga like me that can fight back and send that shit to Norris and them, and they know what I could do. It's like, oh, nigga, you might be somebody. We might give you a shot. So that's what I'm saying about when when y'all look at it like, oh, well, you're not giving me views, but it ain't the views that you really want. Because if you make it, the views going to come regardless. What you want is a battle that's going to make the niggas who matter look and listen. That's my narrative. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and uh, mute that line real quick. Um, De, 
Dev, I'm going to let you uh, respond to that real quick. Take like a quick minute, minute and a half to go ahead, and then I got 65 about to come up on here next. So uh, go ahead, shit. Dev. Yeah, all right, no, so good looking, bro. So I'm glad he said that. So, boom, we're going to say, for argument's sake, I'm talking about you, right? Or 65 for that matter. I hear what you're saying, but it's bullshit because if niggas was checking for you, like, that's what I'm saying. If niggas was checking for you like that, the norbs and shit, like, why would I pay you to do all that so I can get put on battling you when you trying to do the same thing? You trying to get norbs to get you on uh, Born Legacy or some shit like that. You heard me? Like, like that's why I'm saying the views don't matter. I can battle Joe Smo and go crazy and, then, and, and niggas just share this shit and niggas fuck with it. You heard me? And then I come on like that and I can do that for free. So... Or I could just go to the East and battle a nigga, you hear me? And, like, instead of the money going to you, I could just put it towards transportation and a hotel and, and battle a nigga on the East. Like, that's what I'm saying. These, these yous these youths got certain people big-headed and not, not saying you because I don't really hear you brag about it like that. Like, I know you're talking about the 1.1, but you put a lot of work in with those youths. But I'm talking, like, okay, 65, for instance, and I'm going to get off in 30 seconds, Nico. Like, there's nothing there. I'm not going to, like, what, there's no talent, right? I ain't going to say there's no talent, but it's like lack of talent. That beating him is not going to do nothing. When I can battle my nigga Dot or I can battle Vice, like battling them niggas, my niggas, my peers, is going to do more for me than battling six because nobody's checking for a six battle, clearly, because we're getting the same amount of views here and there. Like, you heard me? So it's like, like, that's my point. Them old days was like the old days, cool, but niggas got to stop living in the past and understand you still got to work now because we are peers. Peers. Like, you niggas ain't above nobody, bro. So, that like, that's that's what I'm just saying, bro. Like, that's one of the points I was saying, but it's not disrespecting. Hey, yeah, Geechee touched on everything I was I said. So, that's it, nigga. All right. Uh, give me one second. I'm trying to pull the studio back up. <clears throat> Oh, I know this shit is not about to start trying to act stupid right now. Bear with me, I'm trying to get the studio to uh, load up fresh. There we go. All right. So, 65. Where are you, my bro? 65, you queued in. Go ahead. Three minutes. Yo, hey, yo, all right. All right, so niggas hear me, just to make sure niggas hear me, because I'm on my headset. Um, so, all right, my nigga Dev, this is just a quick response to my nigga Dev, all right, to the 65 part, then I'll jump onto the narrative. All right, so you say there's no talent there, there's no, there's no reason, right? Okay, so... Every battle that I've had literally has been the most talked about battles within our coast. Niggas literally, literally want to see me lose. Niggas literally want to see me battle either to troll or to say I did okay or to say I did good or whatever. Now, take this event that just happened, Mount Olympus. Out of the two great performances that we had on that car, which is Dot Everything and Max Taylor, the only talk you've seen was about me. Even the nigga who beat me isn't being talked about. So battling me automatically gets you a look. It automatically gets people talking about you. It automatically gets people to either side with you or to pay attention to you. Period. Hold on, bro. Now, 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 now as far as the views go, Views don't mean shit, period, if you're not doing nothing with it. My nigga Billy has 1.1 million views. What the fuck is he doing with it? Absolutely nothing. He's, do he's doing absolutely nothing with it. Now you have a nigga like Geechee who have millions of views, who's doing a numerous amount of things with it. So it's not the views that matter. It's what you do with it. It's your star quality. A lot of niggas is leaning on these leagues and leaning on an excuse to be fucking mediocre. If you're mediocre, you're mediocre. If your career isn't going to blossom, it isn't going to blossom. It's just, it is what it is. 
Be good at being mediocre. Be the best mediocre you you can be. It's my thing. You feel me? Don't don't sit up and 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 blame these leagues for the views that niggas get when when it's it's on you. It's on you to go out and gain a following. It's on you to go out and make this shit count. You feel me? And everybody want to downplay Ahab and all this other shit and all these other bullshit narrative people's is pushing, but without it, nigga, there would be no West. It wouldn't be. Without Ahab, none of you niggas would exist. I'm, 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 skeptic to say, I'm skeptical to say if, if Geechee would exist. Without Ahab, Ahab played a very big part to Geechee's success as well. You feel me? Ahab played a part to a lot of people we consider legends on this coast. It played a huge part. So to discredit anything that they've done, like, that makes you a fucking weirdo. And then we got to look at it like this. I know, I know I'm over my time. Give me two more seconds, Nico. But we got to look at it like this. We're downplaying our homegrown West Coast League. We're downplaying our homegrown West Coast League to, to praise niggas that don't give a fuck about us. They're going to pick a needle out the haystack every time. Every fucking time. So now that you're downplaying our home league, the homegrown league here on the West, for a league that's calling us an expansion of their league. You niggas got you niggas are part of the problem, bro. Like like niggas ain't into fixing the problem. Niggas don't want to be a solution. Niggas just want to be nut huggers. So you All niggas right, can keep uh, these nuts, bro. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna cue you back in later. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna let Billy go ahead and get his rebuttal real quick. He wanted to respond to something I think Dev had said. So, Billy, go ahead. Uh, before you go, Billy, anybody that wants to get queued in next, either inbox me or hit the post up that I put in the Western Conference, you know what I'm saying, to send me your area code. You know what I'm saying? If you don't hit me up, I'm not queuing the number in. So, if you're trying to get on here to talk, you need to uh, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Either in the inbox or on that post. Uh, so, go ahead, Billy. Three minutes. Hold on. Hold on. Stop my time, Nico. I need six minutes because I got a rebuttal fat nigga, too. I don't even know why 65 is even being mentioned with me. That's violating my legacy. Do not mention a nigga sitting on 200,000 views soaking wet talking about me and Six in the same position. Six ain't did shit that I've done. This nigga barely got money to make it to his out-of-state battles. I don't want to hear none of that shit, nigga. I went, nigga, I was one of the first niggas to go east. And, Dad, what you talking about? Oh, I could take that same money. Go go do that shit. Like, me and Geechee ain't do it already. It's a process, nigga. It's a process. You take your well-earned money and take your ass over there to an East Coast New York URL battle, and they ain't invite your ass and see how it go. I, I done lived it already. It don't go like that. You blow up on the West first, and then you go East. You do your West Coast PGs, and then you go East. You don't go there first. That ain't how it go. Ain't nobody went there first. That's first and foremost. Back to 6,500. What the fuck has this nigga done that's credible? This nigga's talking about, you battle me. And 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 your people are expecting me to troll, nigga. You're terrible. You have one of the worst resumes in battle. I don't even know why they brought this nigga on the fucking phone. You want to talk about what the fuck I'm doing with my views, six? What do you mean what I'm doing with my views? What was I supposed to do with them? Polish them up and put them on the shelf somewhere? I got them. They wrapped up and I'm still pushing. I still went did three hundred thousand with goods on a small channel. Yeah, it's good. But I'm still stacking views. I did 170,000 views at Duel in the Desert on a freestyle with big names. This is my hustle. Don't tell me, oh, oh, well, you did that because, um, what's that nigga name from Detroit? Uh, fuck Calico and Johnny Storm and Mr. Fab. That's why you got them views. I got them views because I'm a hustler, nigga. Shut that stupid shit up, nigga. I'm a real hustler. I really rolled out with Danny and Beast, and we got there. Sonic told me you should battle John, Johnny Storm, and I went outside and handled business, nigga, and put my numbers up, nigga. Don't disrespect my hustle, because your hustle don't look like mine. We go look at your little 100,000 view, whatever. Two, nigga, I could give you 200,000 views, six, and you still wouldn't be close to me. Dev, I'm telling you about this process, bro. And and where you at right now, I'm going to be 100. Dev, you don't need to go nowhere, nigga. You need to stay right where you at and, and do some more over here because that shit with XP, you think you ready to go east rapping like that? That ain't it, bro. It ain't, it ain't no shot. I'm just being real with you. You still got to cook over here. I have yet to see you cook. I have yet to see you cook. So when niggas is looking at me talking about, oh, well, Billy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, You know, but as he said, it's bullshit because ain't nobody checking. First off, first off, 
you have to understand, we're talking about me. We're talking about a nigga who's still ripping buildings in half, who still ain't losing. They're not – but the reason I wasn't booked in the last two years is politics. If y'all want to say I just been ass, I ain't been good, I don't be having performances of the night, I don't be having a building going crazy, that's one story. But this is it's a political thing on why Billy is not – where Geechee's at, where Emerson's at. We all know I'm the last one. After I go through the door, who after me? It's me, Dre, and who's left? Who left? That really know what they're doing, really cooking consistently, and really was doing it back then, they could still hang now. Y'all new niggas don't even know what y'all doing yet, bruh. Y'all worried about the wrong shit. Oh, man, if I pay 400 here. Look, you ain't got to pay me, nigga. I'm cool. Somebody gonna give me a check. I get my checks. It be like these new niggas want to hate. Like, we've been getting checks before they came along. Now they want to start evaluating the game and shit. Like, hold on. Why am I going to pay you? Everybody else paying. Nigga, don't hate. Nigga, just get in line. Just get in line. Don't knock seconds, my hustle. You feel me? Don't, don't knock my hustle because I'm out here getting mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, you nigga, you booking me because you know when I come out there, I'm coming to play, nigga. I'm going to give you three stars. I'm going to nigga want to test your mic. Yeah, you could go run through Joe Schmo and get it. You think? How many niggas over here been killing nobodies and got nowhere? I'm one of them. I'm definitely one. I've been killing. I got 30 battles battling new niggas and killing them. Did I get anywhere doing it? No. Because you know why? It don't matter to you doing on the stage that match, nigga. Bottom line. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, kill and get you right now. Uh, same thing. Got to eat you. I, I, go hear, I, I, hear, I hear what niggas is saying, man. But I think, for one, my nigga six was way off. Nobody's disrespecting Ahab. See, like that's when niggas try to spin the narrative to try to make they self sound like they making sense. Nigga is giving all praise to Ahab from what I'm seeing. He's saying Ahab was the perfect platform. Ahab helped everybody. Me, Danny, Smooth, Grizz, Billy, Dev, 65, whoever battled over there. Fat, no, you name it. They're saying salute to Ahab for giving them the platform. He is blaming the battlers for being ass. Because if you battled on Ahab all these motherfucking dogs and got all these motherfucking views and you ain't did nothing with it, it has not generated anything for you to get to the next level. Ahab was the was the springboard to get you to the next level. Then, then you're the problem. It's not Ahab. You can't say, yeah, Ahab did that for Geechee. No, Ahab gave me the platform. But I had to be dope to make my battle stand out aside from the other battle that dropped on Ahab the same day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, people think just because your battle dropped, that's it. No, nigga. It's a gang of motherfuckers was battling. We had plenty of battles. Nigga, when me and Grizz battled, it was a, a gang of motherfuckers on that car. When me and motherfucking... Sin City Nights battle, there was a gang of motherfuckers on that Vegas versus L.A. car. With me and 65 battle, whoever the fuck else I battled on Ahab, it was other people on them car. So you got to be, you got to take accountability for yourself. This ain't got shit to do with Ahab. We're giving Ahab the respect. We're saying salute to Ahab for giving the platform, for having those subscribers, for having that fan base. I think Dev is saying that the battlers who didn't do nothing is ass or didn't, not they ass, but the motherfuckers just ain't got it no more. They had a shot and they blew it. You know what I'm saying? I think my boy was trying to spin the narrative like, you disrespecting Ahab, are you crazy? I dare you disrespect Ahab. Like, nah, nigga saying salute Ahab. Nigga saying you niggas suck. Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> I think he had it all wrong. I think that's why nigga kind of should have had us all at the same time. But that part right there, because I um, met when Cud was talking, I was like, ooh, I hope Cud just accidentally pressed my button so I could be like, huh, oh, I think you got the wrong idea, buddy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but that's the problem with niggas listening. They they not listening to what the man said. He done said it over and over. I'm not disrespecting Ahab. I'm talking about the battlers. See, people is is is, is got, taking his narrative and spinning it to the way to, to make them feel comfortable. And that's the problem. Niggas don't listen over here, bro. So yeah, like if you 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 can you can chew somebody else up or you can bring motherfuckers in, however you gonna do it. But that's all I wanted to say. Like, bro, I don't think nobody disrespecting the league or what the league's bro. Basically saying like battlers, you gotta get better. You got to get better or give it up or, or stop, you know what I mean, complaining and, and keep working. At the end of the day, it's on the battler. It's always on the battler no matter what, nigga. It's niggas that's on URL that are not popping. It's on the battler. You have to do what you got to do. It's niggas on King of the Dot that is not popping. You have to do what you got to do, my nigga. It's niggas with deals, major record label deals that are not popping. It's on the artists. 
You feel me? Like, that's what niggas, at the end of the day, the label can push you. Or you got to still have something that people want to buy, my nigga. For them to even want to push you and give you the extras to make people fuck with you without even wanting to fuck with you. You still got to have some type of something. You can clown niggas like Blueface, say the nigga whack. We don't think he can rap. He got some type of skill set that's making motherfuckers pay attention to the nigga and listen to the song. You feel me? Before he blew up, it was something that he did that made his song catchy. You feel me? You can say the shit about battle rappers. Oh, motherfuckers is only fucking with uh, Geechee because he rapping it before. I had to do something to make them gravitate to me like that, bro. Like, it, it, we we're saying salute to the league. Salute. But we're saying the battlers are the ones that's bullshit, bro. <laughs> you feel me? If you're a battler and you're listening, we're calling y'all bullshit, man. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> All right, so I'm uh I'm gonna go ahead and queue up uh Dev right now. Hold on one second. Let me get Dev on here. Uh, so yeah, Dev, you up right now? Sixty five. You after Dev? Anybody who's trying to talk after sixty five, let me know now. Hit me up. Uh, Dev, go ahead. Oh my mama, Nico. I feel like I gotta say on nutty in order for niggas to to get what I'm saying. This nigga. I don't understand why he can get it, but nobody else can, bro. Like, so for one, which one was it? Um, yeah, nobody. As for Boom, nobody's saying that you don't. And I think I even told Six Five in the uh, face off, I will never say a nigga don't deserve money because I never hate on another nigga getting money, regardless how he do it. You hear me? That's just not in my blood. I'm not saying you don't deserve it. I'm saying I wouldn't do it. And that's two different things, right? Another thing is, like, you bringing up what Billy battling you does for me, but it's like you battled Stud Famous, who was also an A-hat legend, if you will, and y'all got, what, four bands? So it's like it's two people from back in the day that didn't do shit now. So that, that that's all I'm saying is that's got to tell you something. You heard me? So it's like... And then me and you talk, boom, which is why it's not really you. You only fall in this shit by default, but it's not really you. You know me and you behind the scenes a couple of days ago, we talked about this shit that even you expressed, you don't feel like any one performance got you the last couple of plates you've received. You heard me? Like, because in actuality, you've been the same nigga. You feel me? You've still been boom. You've still been nice. So so that's what I'm saying. It's hard. It's, it's weird that you fighting this. You should be agreeing with this shit. That's that's number one. Um, number two, bro, it's just, like, I really don't got shit to say, bro, for real, now that I think about it, because Gigi touched on it yet again. Like, it's never A-hat. I'm not saying A-hat did nothing. As for 65, trying to make it seem like I'm trying to put A-hat down to uplift URL. For anybody that's thinking that's what I'm saying, bro, you not listening. You just waiting to talk. Like, because there's other leagues out here, bro. You, niggas is battling on shots fired. Niggas is battle who was getting retweeted by Ruin Your Day and got legends talking about it and all that, and they they getting traffic. The riot got smacked, and a hella East Coast niggas that know the riot. Like, there's other leagues that niggas know about, but your name's not generating the views. You hear me? And, and I'm saying, and I'm in that too, bro. My name ain't doing it. So why would I invest in another? Not even why would I invest. It's just battle, period. Like, I don't even, it's, even if a league owner brought it up, there's some niggas that it's like, for what? That's not going to do nothing, bro. I'm not trying to battle no old nigga that's stuck in the old days because it's, it's just not going to be nothing, bro. I respect what niggas did back then. It's still cool, but if you so popping, you should still be able to, if you're not, I'm not saying touch 100,000 because you were touching 100,000 then. I'm saying if you were touching 100,000 a battle, then why aren't you touching 15,000 now? That's all I'm saying. Something. Give us something. And I think you alerted to that too, Nico. So I'm ready to listen. Ten seconds, bro. I really don't. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm done. I, I just want to say I appreciate you allowing me the platform to get my rocks all, bro. I ain't got nothing much to say, bro. Like, I, I didn't say it my piece. Let me uh, go ahead and cue in 65 next. Any, mm-hmm. Like I said, anybody who's trying to talk after 65, Hit me up now. Either inbox me or hit one of the posts and tag me in it. You know what I'm saying? With your area code. You know what I'm saying? First six digits so I know what number to queue up. Um, oh, yeah. Try this. 65. Go ahead. Yo, 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 yo. All right, so. Your phone got a mad right, echo. You got a mad echo, bro. Yeah, hold on. Because yeah, I'm in the. 
listening through the radio. Um, all right, so look, right? I, I got a couple of responses to people. First is to Geechee. Geechee said I'm way off, and it's crazy because he came and preached the exact same narrative that I was pushing. You feel me? Like, but that's fine. I'll, I'll take that. Now, the thing was, was I never said dev. I said niggas. Niggas in general have been de- trying to downplay A-hat for the past two years. We've, we've already went down this road. And and for those who said, like, oh, niggas ain't trying to downplay it, maybe you're just not paying attention to the to the shit that's going on. But niggas have been trying this narrative for the past, like, two years. You know what I'm saying? Oh, A-Hat don't do the views it used to. A-Hat only did views because it was clickbait. A-Hat this, A-Hat that. That's my narrative, okay? Now, away from that, to my nigga Boom. Well, no, 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 no never mind, never mind. To death, right? I get what you're saying. You're not trying to, it's not that you're saying, oh, this nigga don't deserve to be paid. This nigga don't deserve to be paid. This nigga don't deserve this. He don't deserve that. You're saying like, yo, I'm not willing to pay. Okay, we get that. But not being vocal about everything as far as like that type shit, sometimes you can come off as a hater or somebody who's, you know, trying to stop niggas grind. And, 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 and it's like, it's, that's a fact. If it ain't congratulations, it sounds like, hey, shout out my nigga Nip, RP Nip. But that's a fact. You feel me? You would tell a nigga, yo, well, I'm not paying you. Now you got 10 other niggas who's going to question that narrative versus these 10 other niggas who ain't did shit and would be like, yeah, I'll pay immediately. It happens all the time. That's how you see Joe Smoke battling fucking Geechee out of fucking nowhere because he decided to pay. Now you're going against the grain. Now you're telling everybody basically like, yo, nigga, I'm not paying him. Why should you? So that's how that comes off. All right. So, you know, maybe switching up how you the, the verbiage of it would, would go a long way. All right. So my nigga, boom, my nigga, boom, yo. All right. Let's be 100, my nigga. Those are goods views. Those are not your views. They had nothing to do with you, nigga. Goods, that's probably one of Goods' lowest viewed battles, my nigga. Those are his views that had absolutely nothing to do with you. You went and won a tournament that nobody gave a fuck about. You went and won a tournament to get fucking smoked by Goods. And no one cared about it. The battles didn't drop. Nobody asked for the footage. Nobody's been checking for you. You say, oh, it's politics. No, nigga, it's not politics. It's you. You cause all these problems upon yourself. Every problem you have in this battle rap game has been because of you. Nigga, you've been here 10 plus years. Nigga, that's a decade in battle rap. You've been here the longest out of everybody. Out of damn near everybody, bro, you've been here the longest, bro. And you are at the bottom of the totem pole. Be for real, boom. When when you when you finally come to the realization it's like, yo, I ain't shit, then maybe you will grow. Hmm. Everybody get maybe at that moment you would grow. Because right now you feel like like you're the top shit in this shit. Bro, you haven't had a good performance, all around good performance, since Perfecto. And that's a fucking fact, my nigga. A Hat Cali was the last time you went fucking bananas. Was against Perfecto years ago, my nigga. So to sit up here and act like you've just been going crazy off the Richter scale, you you just immaculate your fucking bonkers with the words and, and, and all this other shit, and you're just being overlooked because of politics, it's fucking blasphemy, bro. You have not done what you were supposed to do within your 10-year motherfucking career here on the West Coast. Nigga, I've been here for four years. Let me breathe. My 200000 equates to your million. You've been here 10 years. If I don't garnish over a million views in 10 years, bro, I would happily leave the West alone and leave everybody alone and admit my failure, bro. You've been here over 10 fucking years. Your very first battle was disaster. Your very first battle on cam was disaster. There's no reason why you shouldn't have elevated at that moment. You went downhill until you got slammed back up the hill, and then your views went up. 
and you still are at the bottom of the totem pole even with higher views for that moment that you went viral for the little bit of time that you was viral. So we have to call a spade a spade, bro. You're not as good as you say you are. You're not to the West what you think you are. Nigga, and you are never seconds, going sir. to be what you feel that you want to be, bro. You're not. Your career, you're, you're having a parallel career, bro. You changed your name to do worse than what you've done in the fucking beginning. Ten years in this right, shit, bro. Gonna, Hashtag. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and switch gears real quick. Um, Billy, I'm about to queue you up. What's your number? I'm queuing in Billy right now. Anybody who wants to get on here after Billy, hit me up. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? First come, first serve, man. That's how we're going to do it from here on out. Uh, Billy, you queued up. Uh, go ahead. So, uh, so this, this, this my, first off, I want to say something to Dev when he talked about but he talked about uh, Stud Famous and me. First off, nigga, we battled in the alley with 10 people. So visually, that don't even look like something to click on. Once you see it's in the alley. Shit, that was bad. And I'm, and I'm not saying that if it wouldn't have been, if it would have been in a building, it would have been extreme different. Uh, I don't know. I really don't because that was like my first battle back to AAT. So I'm not sure. Uh, uh, moving on um, to 65. 65, I have not been here 10 years. What type of dope are you smoking? Or you can't count. For one, I came here, I battled Diz in 09, and I battled Taz in 09, and I left in 09, and I came back in 2012. I've been here for seven years. Now, if you want to talk about how your 200,000 equates to my million, you're wrong about that too. You want to know why? What battle have I done in the past three years that broke 100,000 other than the goods battle? I ain't been doing views the last three years. So save them three off the off the seven I've been back, and you got four years. I did them million views before I battled goods. That shit threw me over. Hey, I, I think I'll be right like Adam. You take the goods battle out, I'm still probably at a million views totals in battles, just being a hundred. So, and if you want to look, you want to talk about, Diz did not make me do views, bro. We was we, me, Dre, Emerson, Smooth was all doing views in Ahab before the Diz fight ever happened. You feel me? So just just keeping in a hundred, and over time, all my battles climbed. For you to say that because I got in a fight, that my views just shot up astronomically. Like first off, let's just be real. The way I got done in that fight, who the fuck is really gonna check for me? Oh, let's go listen to this nigga rap. Don't lie to yourself. Nobody give a fuck about the nigga who lost. Like, nigga, you typically, if you win the fight, that's when everybody want to go check you. Oh, I'm going to see who this nigga is. Jimmy said, don't lie and tell me that my views came from me losing a fucking fight. Period. Maybe some. But you're going to tell me I got hundreds of thousands of views? I think we would have all noticed that jump in my battles when the fight happened. We could have all looked, and I'd be like, damn, nigga, I just did... An uh, extra 10000 If that happened, we would have saw that huge growth in views at the time that the fight dropped. It would have been immediate. It doesn't happen over the years. Me and KO climbing to 100000 Me and MC Quest climbing to 100000 Me and Bizzle climbing to 100000 Nigga, that ain't had nothing to do with that. If you want to say a couple thousand views added to each one of my battles, 2,000 views, 2,000 people, okay, maybe. But if a million people that watched the fight tuned in to my battles, do you know how many more views I would have than what I got now? Okay, so we got that out the way. Everything he's talking is stupid. Talk, I mean, talk about the last time I performed great was fucking perfecto. Are you fucking stupid? Did you see what I did to YD? Did you see what I did to Profane? Like, are you not paying attention? When was your last? Oh, you don't have one. You don't have one, 65. Your greatest battle was trash. You get by on comedy, nigga, and you're not even that funny. Not consistently. Period. You not. You went in there against fucking Red Bangs, and nobody thought your jokes was funny. Only niggas sticking up saying, yeah, that patch of bars right there, six was kind of spitting, and they didn't really, either they didn't catch it, they didn't want to catch it, whatever. But your funny shit wasn't even funny. Your biggest battle when everybody was like, oh, six. Nigga, we was gassing your ass at magnitude, homie, for, for battling Max Taylor. Max Taylor, that's your best battle? A white boy from San Diego, nigga? Bro, you've never had a great, you've never had a perfecto performance. 
you shouldn't talk about shit you haven't done yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, for real, you want to talk about what people do with their opportunities, and they say, what the fuck did you do in front of Snoop, nigga? And you from the beach. You embarrassed your city when you got here, nigga. You embarrassed your city as soon as you touched down in Battle Rap. You had the red carpet, rising star. I couldn't get OD to make me a rising star. You have all the promotion in the world. None of you are delusional. Your trolling abilities is what keeps you hot. Nobody's looking for six. When you talk about battling you, do you really think niggas are looking at 65 like, yeah, that's a challenge for me. That's a challenge. Like, he going to make me bring out the best in me. No, bro. You have been losing after losing after losing. You're not telling me I'm losing battles. I ain't been losing. I've won 88% of my battles. And I have over 30 battles. 88%. That's an A in some classrooms. I got an A on my, on my consistency or passing my test. So when niggas is talking this stupid shit, you guys, y'all got to stop listening to niggas who have done absolutely nothing in the culture. The big 65 did more king for Vegas than he has rapping for himself. Let's just be real. When he was booking battles in Vegas and he brought KO and the Dose Gang out and all that, that's when we really fucked with 65. Once he started rapping, it became a joke. Six, no, he can't rap like that. That's why he leaned on the jokes. That's why he said, oh, they don't know if I'm a troll, because you don't have bars like that. Period. You went and battled Soto down there. That shit was cool, bro. It was, all your shit is cool. You don't get real room react. The biggest reaction you got, and you haven't had one since then, was against Max Taylor. And that's when shirt grabbing first came out. And y'all all remember, we was all grabbing this nigga's shirt. That's when shirt grabbing was at his peak, and everybody wanted to do it. It was the new thing to do, grab a nigga shirt while he's rapping. And we all grabbed six. Like, this nigga had a Lux third. Like, he had a motherfucking who, – who got them famous third rounds? I don't know because I don't be really be watching battles. But we was all grabbing six like he was really out there cooking, and he really wasn't. He really wasn't. Well, we don't think a little a boy, white boy, half your motherfucking size from San Diego. You don't think we expect you to win? What valid wins do you have though? Who against who? Every opportunity you got, like I don't know why a nigga who lose that many times at the PG is even on the phone talking about people's success and views. He don't even got views to be discussing views. He don't. Who cool, this nigga? Cool, LL Cool G. Thousand views. That nigga in battle. QP, XL. He got what you got, and he just got around low key. He's been here four years. Do you want to know what I did in four years, nigga, when I got here? I already probably had over 300, 400,000 views in four years, nigga. You just got to hey, yo, real quick. Hey, yo, real quick. Hey, look. I, uh, let me just go ahead and reiterate this point again because I guess people must not have heard me or something. If you have a narrative that you're trying to get off, you have something that you're trying to say as far as this topic is concerned or something else. You need to hit me. Either hit me up on the post, tag me in it, or hit my inbox. I ain't got hit up by nobody. That's why Billy is getting this extended roundup. So until one of y'all has something that you want to say, you hit me about it. Billy, go continue cooking. All right, go ahead. Niggas, niggas talk about I've been here 10 fucking years, my nigga. I ain't been here no damn 10 years. But it's like we need – it's like niggas like 65 have no respect. They don't have no respect for the game. 65 is the same nigga who went – had a position running the league on the West and tried to start his own league based off everything he had going in Vegas. That was a bad move. 65 is the same nigga who, when I tried to put everybody, let's go on strike against Ahab so we can get some money, he the nigga that went and snitched the OD on me. Snitched. Went and told on me. Say, hey, Billy over here riling everybody up, trying to get everybody to boycott Ahab. Nigga threw him and got me punished. I, of course, I got kicked out the group. I knew I was going to get the shit into the stick anyway because I'm the one who started. But I, that's the type of character I had. Niggas, niggas forget those days when Billy is like, yo, I'm trying to get y'all paid. I know for a fact I'm not going to get booked after this. I told niggas this in the group chat. I'm going to get in trouble, and I'm going to get thrown under the bus. But y'all should be able to live after this. I already had my views, so it really, it really wasn't that big of a deal to me. You know what I'm saying? 65 went... Oh, damn, this nigga Boone trying to fuck up my money. Because he worried about when Boone get these niggas to go on strike, which I really do got the power to do. I really had everybody in there riled up, you feel me? Damn, I can't book this card and I can't make no money. So what he did was thought about himself instead of his peers and went and snitched on me. You feel me? Like, that was wild. So when you look at 65 character, same nigga I sent $100 to out of love 
going to say, oh, yeah, nigga, good look, and, and try to get me taken off a card in the next state. His character is shot. You got to look at how these niggas move, running off on deposits and shit. We got, you got to listen to the niggas, the character of these niggas who be talking before you start just letting niggas get on here and talk. Because niggas' image is shot. His image is shot. You understand what I'm saying? That's bullshit, bro. Like, I don't like when 200,000 views talk to a nigga who got one point something. You can't talk to me, nigga. I'm above your pay grade, but I don't care what year I did mine in. You could be here. Look, put it like this. We can make a bet. In two more years, 65 will not have 400,000 views. He won't. He won't. He will not. He won't have 500,000 views. How about that? I mean, I mean, I mean, he won't have 300,000. And he might not have 275,000 if you ask me. And this is the same nigga talking about me who's headlining the PGs this Saturday in Arizona. Talking about I ain't had a high performance. What happened to Ray May? What happened to Ray May? Ray, Ray, I had to put Ray May on. I had to show Ray May. It ain't no joke with me. That's why when it comes to me, it's different. You can say all that about them other niggas, them old niggas or whatever. When I come in the room, the room go crazy every fucking time. I can drink water, and they're going to react. I got that power like that. 65 has no power, no influence. He has absolutely